Hey, Jim Bergman with MeasureQuick. I uh, wanted to talk a little bit today about the Blue Flame Combustion Analyzer by AccuTools. We've been doing quite a bit of work on the analyzer this year to improve its performance, but if you don't own an analyzer, I just want to bring your attention to some stuff that's really important, and I'm just going to pop in the app here. If you pop into the temperature pressure sections of the app and you tap on the CO button, we get calls periodically about you know um, CO in a house, and if you experience CO in a house, what are the acceptable levels and you know what should you do if you measure CO in the stack or you measure CO in the house? Uh, what are the call to actions? So built into the bottom of that app under that temperature pressure sections is the whole piece on combustion safety. And this is published by the Building Performance Institute and it's sort of like a, an inspection form and safety form for furnaces, but it's a really good guideline on what to do uh, if you get CO in a home or you experience CO where you're testing. Again, CO in the stacks, the calls for action, pressure in the combustion air zone. So this is a great reference document built into Measure Quick now, and you can just go back uh, when you're done. The second one is a induced draft furnace inspection. Now, obviously, induced draft furnaces they're very hard to see into the uh, into the combustion or into the um, into the furnace heat exchanger and actually do a good visual inspection. So AHRI published a um, it's actually called the Induced Draft Furnace Heat Exchanger Inspection Procedure. And what's interesting with this is not only includes a visual inspection, but it's required that you use a combustion analyzer to actually do the testing. So I want you to test uh, CO in the return, CO for CO in the supply, and CO in the stack. Now what's interesting with this is this is now a standard for heat exchanger inspection. So if you're working on gas appliances, you really need to have a combustion analyzer uh, out there when you're doing your service work because this is now a standard on how or what we call reasonable standard of care on how heat exchangers should be inspected. So this procedure pretty much outlines uh, measuring those three variables and I'm just going to show you how we do this in measure quick because we got it built in. So the first thing we want to do, I'm going to pull this out of the stack. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and activate this and we're going to get an ambient CO measurement. And you'll see, uh, uh, actually we got a couple parts per million here of CO in the space, well, let's see if, we'll see if that clears out here in just a second. So it might just be a, a little bit of residual flue gas uh, from the uh, stack here. Uh, if not, we may restart the analyzer and let it re-zero. Because again, these analyzers, when you power them up, what they do is they null any background CO out. So we always want to take the combustion analyzer outdoors and actually zero it out. This one, it may have had a small amount of stack gas in it when I zeroed it, and that's why, or, um, uh, or it's picking up some background CO here from a tow motor or something in the office. Not sure which, uh, probably now thinking about it, it's probably a tow motor next door that's kicking out the background CO. So now I can hit capture and I captured my ambient CO. Now this is obviously under nine parts per million. This is uh, perfectly safe. Uh, and now we'd wanna test CO in our return air grill. So now I'm gonna move this and I'm gonna activate it again. I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna measure CO in the return. Now this takes several minutes for this to actually um, get a measurement here. So we don't want to just you know, do this in 30 sec in 10 seconds or something and pull it back out because we have to get we have to get flue gas from the bottom of the probe all the way up into the analyzer. So it's got to clear out what's in the hose. It does take a second to do that. And so you can see we got six in, six out. So uh, and I'm going to pause this here and I'm going to move it up. So I'm going to capture this one. I'm going to hit activate again and I'm going to move this up to my supply. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to make sure that we have this, you know, if there's any background CO in, what it's showing us is, you know, it came into the return, it went through the furnace, the CO did not go up, so the furnace is not what's producing the CO. Again, background from a tow motor next door. So we'll give this a couple minutes here and then I'm going to capture that, capture that reading. So this is the one of the parts of the three-part heat exchanger inspection. Again, if you go into measure quick, tap on the TMP buttons for temperatures and pressures, tap on CO, you can actually read how to do that test in there. But it is an industry standard now, and we did build that into measure quick so you can actually perform this process and document it on your uh, on your work order on the measure quick printout sheet of your gas furnace. So very slick stuff, but if you haven't bought a combustion analyzer uh, yet, this is probably the time to start looking at one because Standards like this are standards you're going to see again throughout the industry, and when you're when you're working on a, on gas appliances, 
this really, you know, it's, it's become necessary. This is Jim Bergman with Measure Quick. Thanks a lot for watching. Um, You're not even ready. I'm not ready yet. I haven't even got all the stuff out. Bergman action shot. Ja! Ja! <laughs> no. Jim Bergman holding his ass because it still hurts shot. All right, you ready?